Hi guys, how you doing? Uh, this is the don't know which part there is. This must be the fourth part, or the no, I think it's the fourth part of the Datsun uh, J thirteen hundred uh, rebuild engine. So, like I said before, this video, the the previous one, I was gonna show you how to time or how to put the timing chain on or how to set the timing on this uh, Datsun J1300 engine so I went ahead just uh, watch out I went ahead and just uh, put in the, the piston if you don't know how to put in the piston check out the, the other videos that I've uh, released uh, I think uh, a while back on how to even to put the rings uh, so just went ahead I didn't show how, how to put the piston the the important thing that I didn't show is uh, this uh, I will show you how to do it uh, some use the this black thought right here lines up with this uh, hole right here and then this hole right here will line up with a black thought around here so as for us we don't have uh, two dots on the same on mean on on this chain we just have a that that one dot so what's gonna happen is that you put your engine on top that center that means that uh, dcd it means that your cylinders your number one cylinder and your number fourth cylinder which is this one will be on top so when when they are on top like this no this one is going down when they are on top like that that is top dead center you can see that focus you can see that it is a uh, flash all over so what happens is that uh, okay this dot will line up with that dot but then we are, we are not going to use that one because we don't have uh, uh, there's this black markings on on you don't have two black markings on this chain so what what is what is going to happen again that you have this uh, this this push rod uh, this push rod let me show you this other one here what you have is these things right here so these things they are, they are going to be pushed by this push rod here so this one goes here so the cam as the cam turns this is a cam this is a a, a crank so as the crank turns it turns the cam and then the cam has this uh, I, I don't know how I'm going to show you I don't know if you'll be able to see them this thing right here that one this one right here so that uh, kind of nose looking like will be will hit this will hit this so as it hit this that this one hits this one so uh, that it, as, as that happens it goes to to this to this valves right here focus it goes to this valve right here so you'll be using a a a rocker a rocker arm so this is what happens this is, this is what is called a rocker hub a rocker arm so those push rod tubes will hit here and then this one will hit those those, those uh, what you call those valves so those valves will open and close so that's what well we are looking for here so when your piston when your first piston or your, your fourth piston is up it means that both your your valves will be closed so when both your valves will, will be closed it means that you have compression so when you have compression it means that your both your both your rocker I mean your rocker arms or your yeah your rocker arms should be down when they are down means that 
this, this both of them should be down like uh, should be level as you can see sorry as you can see this one is level this one also is level so you can feel it as you turn as you turn the engine you can feel them lining up and then you can feel them uh, this one I mean this one will go up as you can see it's no longer level that one will go up it means that uh, it will be pushing this uh, rocker arm here so as when when they are both level this one and this one when they are both level then this one is open then this other one here will go up that means that they will be opening the valves when number one and fourth when they are both level means that your 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 on time you are right on time so in order to set that up in order to put this timing uh, I mean this timing chain on you need to take out this uh, this gear right here this pull right here and then this also you take out this uh, what do you call cam out so you line them uh, outside I mean you take them outside I mean you just pull this one out you pull this one out and then you slide them in as you slide them in, you turn the engine, you turn it, you turn it, you turn it, you turn it. Make sure that you line you line the pulley with this mark right here. Or else it will not go in. And then we will have your your tensioner. It will go here. Oh here. Uh, I'm not sure, but it, it either way. So that is just how to turn your 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 engine your Datsun J uh, 1300 engine simple it, it sounds complicated it sounds it sounds complicated but it's not that complicated so like I've said before these things need to be all the way down and they need to be level same as this ones they need to be level as you are turning your engine this one will go up that means that your valve, I'm not sure whether it is uh, an intake or or, a, or a, a, an exhaust valve, it will go up. That means that it will be pushing your your valve. That means that is either air is going, is going to come out, out of the exhaust or petrol is going to come in so that uh, that uh, piston can have uh, combustion when the cycle comes around. So with that guys thanks for watching uh, come back again uh, i'll be putting out another video on how to put in your that that cylinder head right there i'll be putting out another video uh, i know my shop is a little bit uh, it's not tidy i was busy with it i just had to move things around so with that guys let me stop mumbling with that guys thanks for watching Stay tuned for more. Bye.